this lecture, I'd like to go over setting up a budget so that you can have the best opportunity of being successful in your recycling program. Now, depending on your company's structure and how finances are allocated will be important to understand before setting up your budget. Some of you might work for companies where budget is not an issue, and other people might work for companies that budget is a big issue. Now, with that being said, from my personal experience in setting these up for such large companies is that no matter what, it's very hard to get an all-access pass to a company card where they say, go crazy and spend as much money as you want. So from a business standpoint and assuming that you're going to have to justify the cost, that's what I wanted to discuss in this lecture. It is only going to help you earn bonus points or convince a superior to go through with this if you can present this as a business case and not just an environmental case. So one of the first questions that you want to find an answer to, going back to your baseline data information, is how much are you spending annually on your garbage? This is going to be one of your best tools for really being able to provide a business case and justify any expenses that are going to come out of setting up this program. So to keep the numbers simple, I'm just going to use $10,000 is what you spend annually on your garbage. Although if you're a manufacturing plant, it's more along the lines of $100,000 or even more. We're also going to assume for the purpose of this lecture that you're not doing any recycling right now. I would say the two most important costs that are going to come up in setting up a new recycling program is going to be the containers and the educational signage and information that needs to be posted around the facility. When it comes to recycling containers, you can get all different kinds of pricing from all different types of places. While $30 or $40 might not seem like a lot of money out of your budget, when you multiply that by the different quantity of containers that you're going to need, it can add up rather quickly, especially if you're not being conscious of where you're purchasing from, trying to purchase in bulk so that you can get a discount price, so on and so forth. The same thing goes for education. Through my specific experience, it is absolutely essential to have education around your entire facility when setting up and sustaining your recycling program so that it can have the best chance of success. Without consistent education around the facility, it is going to be very hard to keep up the momentum for your recycling program on top of all your other daily responsibilities. So let's just assume, to keep things simple, that you're going to budget out $5,000 for your recycling containers and your education. $5,000 is half of your annual garbage cost. This is where your baseline information is going to come into play and being able to present a business case to execute this project. Now assuming that you're not doing any recycling, again to keep the numbers simple, let's assume that half of what's going into the garbage is actually able to be recycled. Although we're keeping the number simple, that may sound like an arbitrary number, but it's really not based on my experience. The majority of what I find in waste streams for companies is cardboard, paper, plastic, metal, and glass. You'll be quite surprised to find out how much actual waste there is you will have a much better chance of convincing your superior if you go to them and say we're spending ten thousand dollars a year on our waste about fifty percent of our waste stream can actually be recycled we're gonna need five thousand dollars to execute the project and within twelve to eighteen months get the project set up enough to where that waste stream actually diminishes at that point in time you can call your garbage company and say we either need to reduce the size of our containers by half or we need to take half of the dumpsters on site away giving the business a 50 percent cost savings not only that but once everything is set up if you're generating materials that your recycling provider will pay you for which most of them will not only are you going to have a return on investment in 12 to 18 months but then you'll actually be able to start generating revenue and pay for itself 
as well as extra income. It truly is a win-win situation for the business because they're going to save cost, they're going to potentially generate revenue, and they're going to be able to utilize the environmental benefits for PR purposes. If you approach this the right way, it is going to be very hard for a business person to not see the value in doing that.